hi, I'm just going to go through with you all manager planner 2019 and 20 read only file. So this file is really for you to see all the managers in on one day, in on any day, and then in uh, for four weeks. Yeah. So I've got the title pages here and down here you have got the links to go to whichever tabs um, you want to go to. So everything is actually controlled on today's tab, really. Now, um, I purposely colored all the names in black so that I'm not showing anybody in here. Um, I got a counter to count how many managers is working on today. And so um, I purposely have uh, left two spaces out um, so you can actually see that there is duplication. And when there is a duplication of names, there's going to be um, red. Yeah. So all you need to do is to delete it. And when you actually delete it, uh, it will become one. But before I um, do that, I'm just going to go through the different function of this um, file. And so if you have used some of the, my bridges, you will know that this column actually um, look at whether a person is working or not. If they're working, it will be a tick. And therefore, if you actually just um, go to filter and deselect the tick and then OK, um, you will have a list of um, managers who's actually working. And of course, you will actually see their names. I'm just blacking it for, um, for the purpose of this video. Um, there is a chance for you to type in the notes. So you could actually have the extension number if you wish or some other comments on this area here. So whatever you actually type into here, it will carry itself through to the next tab, which is any day. And therefore, it will just go right at the top. I also have whitened this cell and this cell so you can actually see what is going on here. So um, the information is pulled through. So the purpose of um, any day is to look at um, the name list of today and look at uh, this area and then just um, it will give you a chance to choose your own day so if you actually need to do some planning for the entire branch um, you can do so so step one is to choose the month and then wait a while it will update to uh, the days of that month and once you do that, it will um, update the data. Everything will um, come through. It will look through all the spreadsheets. And so the next tab is, is the name selection, which you have selected in the Today's tab. And um, you will have um, four weeks of... Um, all the managers so you can actually use this to pre-plan here you can actually choose a Sunday that you wanted to study once you do that this will update itself to the date that you have chosen and give it some time for it to load and also when you first open this file give it some moment for it to load especially when you have a slow computer um, it will take time. Now, if you delete this cell, an absence of a um, date will uh, switch into the current week. So today's date, when, uh, as I'm wait making this video, is 31st of um, July. So this is the date. Yep. So you, you have got one, two, three tabs. And everything is controlled by um, today's date in terms of name list. 
and the lastly this is uh, the tab where you can actually watch this video making so all you have to do is click onto it and go to the pop-up and then it will open up a video for you to watch and i'm going to demonstrate uh, what will happen if i change this to another um so i'm going to change it to another name a trading hour now because these two names are not the same it, it will become one okay and so we go to the next day you will see that it's updated to trading hour and then um if we go to four weeks it will update to trading hour yeah um, and so if you actually wanted to delete somebody, so you, all you have to do is go like this and delete, uh, right click. Okay. So once you have done that, okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, um, go onto these two because I will expose somebody's name, which I'm trying hard not to do. And so if you actually want to, uh, put, um, another line in, uh, all you have to do is um, put it in and then select a line with all the formulas, copy and then paste. Yeah. Control C and Control V. I actually don't want this. And um, you can just choose your name. So if you have been, you, oops, yeah. Um, I'm just going to use the word steering group. Just pretend this is a name. And if so, if I actually go here, steering group, go here, steering group, easy, um, very easy to use. Thank you very much. Goodbye.